going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, if you haven't checked out your entire month of September love reading, make sure you do that. The monthlies are more detailed than the weeklies. They are actually separated by singles and couples. All right. Also, guys, with the weeklies, I do answer a yes or no question for you guys at the very end. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you might have for me so that I can answer that for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. Hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about it, guys. I thought my cat needed something. Okay, first card out, Leo, the Eight of Pentacles. Two of Wands, Four of Pentacles, the Chariot, Three of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Okay, so here's the thing. You guys this week are coming in as this Eight of Pentacles energy here. So it's kind of, it's workaholic energy. You feel like you're working really hard at something. But the thing is, in love, it can be like repeated patterns. It's like doing the same thing over and over and over, <laughs> you know? So uh, let's get another one on that Eight of Pentacles. What is it that you are working on? You could even be like actually working a lot, like at your job. You could be in like on some workaholic shit and it's kind of affecting the connection here. What's this Eight of Pentacles for Leo? Eight of Wands reversed. Um, back to back eights, by the way, but th with the eight of wands reversed, so you could have been working really hard at something involving travel and now it's delayed or like held back. So this can also be jealousy. There can be some jealousy, some miscommunication happening here. It's like a lack of action, a lack of communication, poor communication. All right, let's get another one. King of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be dealing with a water sign. Don't have to be. Um, it's being emotionally open, emotionally available, emotionally mature. However, there's definitely a, a bit of repeated patterns happening here and some really jacked up communication. This is pretty much like online shit. So maybe arguing with somebody online or something. Recent past the two of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <coughs> this is a pick your path card crossroads here in the recent past that you had to kind of pick which direction you were going to go here maybe you did maybe you didn't yet and this can also be their energy now guys so the four of pentacles in your present somebody's either holding on to something really tightly here or somebody's holding back what is this four of pentacles for leo what is this four of pentacles for leo Ace of Pentacles reverse. Somebody is withdrawing an offer. Like if somebody maybe was committed or the potential to commit was there, somebody was like, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I'm not doing this. Or somebody might feel like they missed an opportunity for a commitment here. Get another one. Queen of Cups. You've got the Queen and the King here. So this is a divine counterpart. Whatever this connection is for you, you guys are divine counterparts. Doesn't mean you have to be with the person though. It, you know, we have plenty of divine counterparts. Um, they're not always like healthy. They're not always good interactions. It can, it can be just a lesson for us. But here, so there's feelings. There's like mutual feelings, mutual love, whatever, however deep it goes for you. There's, you know, the potential to follow your heart and them as well but somebody's like not wanting to commit here or feel feeling like they messed up 
missed an opportunity for a stable commitment. And the world, closing out something. Something is closing out here because like the lessons were learned, it's done, it's cool, did what we needed to do. Time to level up now. Now in your future here, you've got the chariot, cancer energy. This is moving towards something. This is victory, it's success. It can even be travel. So like you had the eight of wands up here reversed. So if you were trying to travel to see someone or with someone and it, it was delayed, it does look like it's happening here in the future. What is this chariot? What is this chariot for Leo? The Ace of Pentacles, look at that. So in the present, you've got the Ace of Pentacles reverse. That's a withdrawing of a committed offer or a missed opportunity or just kind of like a no, I'm not gonna, not gonna be in this with you. Well, you have a new opportunity here in the future, whether it's this same connection turning around or a brand new one, you have a stable commitment coming in for you. And the page of swords, honest communication. This is, this is, you know, you reaching out to somebody or them to you and just being like really bluntly honest. Um, new communication coming in. It, it's also the energy of somebody stalking your social media. If you think they are, they are. <clears throat> what is this? What is wrong with this deck right now? All right, let's do this. Let's get another one on that page of swords. Page of pentacles. Yeah, somebody getting honest and letting you know that they actually want to commit or you, you doing that to them. Now, what is a potential obstacle here, guys? The three of swords, heartbreak. Somebody's hurt. Somebody feels betrayed. Um, and it's a problem. So let's see, what is this Three of Swords all about? What is this hurt? The Lovers, Gemini, could have something to do with a Gemini, but it's somebody, somebody feels hurt over some kind of a connection here. Again, divine counterparts, but it's, it's an obstacle here. So either somebody was involved with somebody else or you can't get to that point with each other because somebody- Yo, sorry about that guys. My iPad decided to clock the fuck out early. So anyway, here we are in your challenge position with this hurt, this inability to connect because there's some hurt here. Otherwise there could be a third party shit and we have the two of pentacles on that, which could mean somebody, somebody's juggling more than one person, right? And it's causing this hurt and lack of a connection elsewhere. So now in your advice, guys, you have the five of wands. So if you look at this card, these people are just pissed. Like they're not even speaking. So you might like not be on speaking terms, terms with somebody and you might just need to separate yourself from some kind of drama here. This is competition, it's jealousy, petty back and forth bullshit. Let's get one on that five of wands. Yeah, nine of pentacles reverse. Somebody's codependent. It's separating yourself from some kind of an argument because it's just somebody's just codependent and you can't do anything about that. You know, that requires like therapy and shit. And the high priestess, listen to your intuition when it concerns another person. If it feels like they've got some codependency shit happening here, trust that. Listen to yourself. Listen to your intuition, okay? All right, let's get your yes or no, guys. So I, uh, I do your yes or no with the deck, but I've been considering switching out the yes or no with the pendulum. Um... I really love working with my pendulum and I don't get to enough. So let me know in the comments if you guys are okay with me switching the yes or no question to using a pendulum still, just same answer, yes or no. Um, just incorporating the pendulum with the cards. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys wanna see and I will do that if you guys are all all right with it.
Okay, yes or no for my Leo friends. Yes or no. That's a yes with the Hierophant. I hope you guys wanted it to be. It's also Taurus, if that means anything. All right, you guys take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a good rest of your night, and I will talk to you in a few days.